first at 11. Seven police officers in Rochester, New York, suspended without pay tonight. And it comes five months after the arrest of a black man who later died. Chill out, man. Don't move, all right, man? Yes, Just don't sir. move. Yes, sir. Newly released video shows Daniel Prude being handcuffed and then pinned to the ground. Prude stopped breathing and died seven days later. The Rochester mayor announced the suspensions today. He lost his life because of the actions of our police officers. The medical examiner ruled Prude's death a homicide caused by being deprived of oxygen while restrained. CBS 46's Brittany Miller breaks down the controversial footage. On a snowy March morning, Rochester police officers reportedly respond to a mental health call. Body camera video shows them walking towards Daniel Prude as he stands in the street naked. Officers tell him to get on the ground. Yes. Chill out, man. Don't move, all right, man? Yes, Just don't sir. move. Prude quickly puts his hands behind his back and is handcuffed. At one point, he starts shouting. Give me your gun, I need. Give me your gun, I need. Next, you see an officer put a spit hood over his head. With the hood still on, an officer seemingly presses Prude's face into the ground. Prude stops breathing. He says he has corona, <laughs> but it's just he also, I don't know, I can tell you anything. You good, man? Prude was taken to the hospital and put on life support. He died a week after that incident. The medical examiner ruled his death a homicide caused by complications of asphyxia in the setting of physical restraint, excited delirium, and acute PCP intoxication. Old bloody calculated murder. Why was the restraint made the way that it was with his head buried down into the ground, someone on his back? Questions raised by former DeKalb County Public Safety Director, Dr. Cedric Alexander. What was he doing? that we could not see in that video. Dr. Alexander was Rochester's police chief in the early 2000s and served as the city's deputy mayor in 2017. He says the video is disturbing, but limited. We got to see more and we got to investigate more into this case because this is a tragic death and it's very troubling to me as it is millions of Americans. And Dr. Alexander admitted during our interview that while he worked in Rochester, he did in fact deal with issues of police abuse, but said overall that department is well trained. He also told me he'd like to see counselors working with police officers when they do answer mental health calls. Live at Atlanta tonight, Brittany Miller, CBS 46 News. Brittany, thank you. The newly released video was difficult to watch for Prude's 18 year old daughter. To see that video and see my father in a state of helplessness, where he was complying and wasn't giving anybody a hard time and was in need of help is is devastating. To Shira Prude says the man in that video is not the father she knew. She says she knew him as a caring, energetic and happy go lucky man.